What's up, fellas? Welcome back to Effortless Gent. Today, I'm gonna to give you five tips on how to put together an outfit quickly and easily. There are a bunch of little knowledge nuggets in here, so make sure you stick until the very end of this video, and I guarantee that if you master these five tips, you will be dressed and out the door in no time. All right, so tip number one, you're gonna to wanna to check the weather. Now, I know that probably sounds like an obvious tip, but to be honest, there are so many guys that I see running past me on a rainy day in New York City with no umbrella, no coat, no hat, and I have to wonder, like, did these guys just get up and get dressed and then not check the weather? I also make sure to check the hourly forecast, not just the general forecast for the day, because that's gonna tell me if the weather is gonna change or if it's gonna start to rain, let's say, later in the day, so that's gonna help me be prepared. So even if you live in a place where it's pretty much the same temperature all the time, it's still really important to check the weather because you're gonna know if it's gonna be windy or if it's gonna be rainy or if it's gonna be cloudy or sunny, and that's gonna really help you figure out what kind of clothes you should wear that day. All right, tip number two, ask yourself, what am I doing today? If you're just going to work and it's a regular Monday through Friday, then it's obviously not that complicated, but some days you may have things going on after work, or maybe you have an appointment before work and you need to wear something different. Maybe it's the weekend and you have a bunch of different plans, you're seeing a bunch of different people. What you wear is gonna be determined by what exactly it is that you're doing today. So before you put on clothing, make sure you stop for a second and ask yourself, well, what am I actually gonna be doing? And then you'll know exactly what to wear once you figure that out. Let me give you an example. Let's say you work in a casual office, but you have an important meeting with a boss or with a colleague or maybe just with clients and you need to step it up a little bit in terms of how you're dressed. You wanna make sure that you remember that in the morning so you can dress better than what you typically do uh, for your casual office setting. So if you normally wear, I don't know, a polo and a sweatshirt or something, uh, during the day at the office, but you know you have important meetings, you might wanna step it up to a dress shirt and a sport coat and some nice shoes. So make sure you think about your day first before you start getting dressed in the morning. All right, so tip number three, memorize these easy to match colors. Now, I call these colors specifically menswear neutrals. Now I call them menswear neutrals because these colors in an outfit go with each other as well as any other color that you might wanna wear. They're literally the easiest colors that you can wear if you're a dude and you're trying to get dressed. If you don't already know what those are, they are black, gray, white, light blue, navy, olive, and brown or tan. Those are the menswear neutrals that I'm talking about. All those colors easily go well with each other and with any other color that you might wanna wear in your outfit. Now I talked a lot about color in my matching video a few videos back. I will link to that somewhere up here so you can check that out. One tip I have for you as far as wearing colors that aren't in the menswear neutral group is to stick to one pop of color because that's the easiest way to sort of add a little bit of interest to your outfit without making it overly complicated. So let's say you do wanna wear a color. You wanna wear a green or a magenta or a yellow and you're not really sure how to do that. All you have to do is stick to the menswear neutrals for the rest of your outfit and then you can throw in your pop of color that way. And then you won't have to worry about your colors clashing or not matching because when you have an outfit full of menswear neutrals, you can throw in that one pop of color and it's not gonna affect your whole outfit and you're still gonna match and look good. So my biggest advice, if you wanna throw in a little, a little pop of color just to make it a little bit more interesting, uh, stick with one color and go that way. Here's another quick tip when it comes to color. Make sure you're not matching exactly. So for example, if you're wearing a gray suit and a light blue shirt, obviously those look good together because those are both menswear neutrals. You don't also wanna wear a light blue tie that matches your shirt. This isn't like who wants to be a millionaire and you're not Regis Philbin. Uh, you don't wanna go that way. You also don't wanna wear a gray tie with your gray suit. It's too matchy-matchy. You wanna find a tie that has colors that are a little bit more vibrant that are gonna make your outfit pop and it really doesn't matter what kind of color you choose uh, as long as it's not light blue or gray in this scenario. You don't wanna match, you don't wanna be one blob of color unless you're going for that specific monochrome or tonal sort of look or color palette. That's a different story, but typically most guys don't go that way unless you're really specific. So um, if you're just dressing for work, make sure to go ahead and find a tie that's a little bit more contrasting that has other colors in it than what is already uh, on your suit or on your shirt. All right, so tip number four, I'm gonna call this what's nearest comes next. I think sometimes when guys look at an outfit and they're not really sure how it all came together, they can feel a little bit overwhelmed and feel like I really don't know how to dress cool or 
how to dress well because that looks really hard to put together. So a tip for you is to think about what's nearest comes next. So for example, I typically start with my pants. After I figure out what pair of pants I wanna wear that day, maybe it's a pair of chinos, maybe it's a pair of dark denim, whatever that is, I then think about, well, what's next to that is my shirt, right? So what kind of shirt will go well with these pants that I'm wearing today? So after I choose my shirt that goes well with the pants, I then think about what mid layer would go well with my shirt because that's the next closest thing to the last thing I picked, which was my shirt. Now this is assuming that it's actually cold enough to have to wear a mid layer. You could skip this step and move on to the next one if you don't need to wear a mid layer. Now from there I skip around. I usually figure out what goes well with my pants as far as shoes. So I pick my shoes for the day and then I choose my coat if I need one and then I choose accessories. So this really helps to build the outfit from one piece moving up step by step instead of trying to figure out your outfit as a whole, which can be kind of difficult sometimes if you can't really visually imagine what things will look like together. Simply worry about what looks good with the adjacent piece, what's nearest to it, and then from there you can just sort of build the outfit on top of that, and then you're gonna have a great looking outfit at the, at the end. So if your shirt looks good with your pants and your shoes look good with your pants, then you're gonna know understandably that your shoes also look good with your shirt because everything is gonna match as long as it matches the adjacent piece. Now, if you're worried about color, obviously if you stick with menswear neutrals, then you know that the colors that you're wearing all look good together. And if you have that one pop of color, that's totally fine. Your whole outfit will still look great. So if you follow the rule of what's nearest comes next, it's gonna be really easy for you to build an outfit one piece at a time. So here are a few things that you wanna keep in mind with this rule of what's nearest comes next. For the most straightforward look, you wanna make sure that each of your items match in terms of formality. So what that means, for example, is like you don't wanna wear a pair of black leather cap toe dress shoes with a pair of light wash distressed ripped denim. Those two things are too far apart on the scale and they're not gonna look really good together. Now, I'm not saying you can't do these things. There is such a thing as like a high low look, but I'm talking about if you wanna put together a straightforward outfit that will look good Good and get you out the door in five minutes, make sure that every piece matches in terms of formality. Try to keep it as close as possible. So another thing to think about are patterns. Now, the easiest way to do this is to avoid patterns completely and stick with solids. And then all you have to worry about are colors. But if you know your menswear neutrals, then that's not even a problem because you know that once you put all those menswear neutral colors together, your alpha will always look good. The second easiest way to pull off pattern is to just choose one pattern. So let's say you have a check shirt or a striped shirt. If you keep everything else in your outfit solid, then you don't have to worry about clashing your patterns. So pick one pattern, and that is the second easiest way to go about incorporating patterns into your outfit. Finally, if you wanna mix and match different patterns together, just keep scale in mind. You wanna make sure the patterns contrast widely. So you wanna have a bigger, bolder pattern paired with something that's a little bit more tonal, a little bit quieter, a little bit more small and subtle. That's the easiest way to put patterns together. All right, so tip number five, have a go-to outfit. I call this a personal uniform. It's basically an outfit that you can wear in pretty much any situation that you'll find yourself in and you'll always look good and you'll always be appropriately dressed. All right, so there are a couple things to notice about my go-to outfit. One, it's relatively simple. It's literally a button-up shirt, some jeans, some sneakers, and a jacket. That's pretty great because if you think about it, depending on where I'm going, maybe I have to be more dressed up or dressed down, it's super easy to adjust just my outfit based on that. All I had to do is swap out certain pieces. Now, if I needed to dress up, all I had to do is swap my shirt for a dress shirt, swap my jacket for a sport coat, and then change my shoes into, instead of sneakers, maybe some dress shoes. So that's really all I have to do to be more dressed up. Now, dressed down, obviously you go the other way. I can just throw on a t-shirt, I can throw on a fitted sweatshirt, and I mean, I already have sneakers on, so how much more dressed down can you get? You'll also notice that it's made up of menswear neutrals, right? So. Every color in the outfit goes well with each other, but if I ever wanted to one day wear something that's like green or yellow or magenta or brown or whatever, whatever color I choose, I know that it'll look good with this outfit because my whole outfit is made up of menswear neutrals. If you're still in the process of building out your lean wardrobe and figuring out what exactly is a good go-to outfit for you, I do have a really awesome course that I put hundreds of guys through. It's called Smart Sharp Style. It takes you through every single piece in your closet that you might need to build that lean wardrobe and then to finally have a go-to outfit that you can depend on every single day. So why don't you check out that course? I'm going to link 
link to it in the description below. And I may have a special price for you, my YouTube audience. So go ahead and click on that link and you can take a look. And if it seems that it's the right fit for you, I hope you join the course and it's gonna be really awesome. All right, fellas, that's all I got for you today. I hope these five tips helped. Make sure you memorize them because it's gonna help you speed up your morning routine. And when you have these tips memorized, you can easily go through them in the morning and you will get dressed super quickly and you'll be out the door in no time. Make sure you let me know in the comments below what your favorite tip was. I'd love to hear it. And any other comments that you might have for me. Maybe you have some video suggestions, things like that. Uh, smash that like button and also make sure you subscribe before you head out of here, all right? I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank you.